Alright, welcome back to Minecraft. We are starting Season 5. And I talked about this a few episodes ago, but as it turns out, Minecraft multiplayer seems more possible and interesting. Um, either by just playing on the server or streaming. So, I have decided to create my own single-player universe showcasing the updates as they happen. I know in the past I've lagged behind, but we're going to do this, um, you know, we're going to do this from, from a new world, and I'm going to play Ultimate Survival, which means mobs and danger, lava, everything like that. And we're going to have a little fun with it and see how long I can go without dying. Only this time, I am not going to miss anything. I'm going to record every minute of everything that I do. So, first step is to hit single player. As you can see, I have no worlds here. And I'm going to choose the first world. And let's uh, build this terrain up. Hopefully Minecraft doesn't crash, because sometimes it does that now. There's a little bug in there. It doesn't always work right, but we'll see what happens here. All right, so here we are. This is the world we're going to use. And at first glance, it's uh, pretty routine. Let me make sure my difficulty is on hard. It is. And I don't have the sound on right now because I was getting a lot of complaints about the sound and I really had no idea how to fix it. It's my sound drivers, they're crap. And for me to fix them at this point is to get a sound card, which is so 10 years ago, or to just um, turn the sound off, and I'll play music of my own creation now, because I want to try to get ads on these to help pay for the server. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to start as anyone would start, by punching them trees and get me a little bit of wood supply because I don't have I have 10 minutes before nightfall if that I'm gonna try to get some where's the sun? there it is I'm gonna try to get some action in here with some mobs before the video ends since I have 15 minutes now which is awesome and I plan to make this season uh, 15 minutes or 15 episodes sorry like the last one. Ooh, there's a chicken. I'm gonna need those feathers. Is he gonna drown himself? <laughs> Beat you with a tree branch. How do you like that? Oh yeah. Beat with a tree branch. This guy's pretty Brazilian. Die, chicken! Did drop. I gypped. Oh well. Get out of the way, pig. <laughs> now. I don't see anything really amazing out in the distance right now. That that could be a good thing. I know we're going to see some, some pretty epic landmarks. I'm going to try to stay close to the spawn. I can change it, but I'm trying to play, you know, a vanilla game, which means I don't modify it in any way, shape, or form. I do everything as it happens, and just whatever happens, I gotta I got to deal with it. One thing is, is fun is that we are anticipating the addition of biomes to the game, and I'd like to stay pretty close to the spawn point and just try to build stuff around there because I want to incorporate the updates of biomes and mob villages and movements and all that stuff in the series so that people can stay interested in, in all the stuff and be kept up to date with what's going on. I understand there are fishing poles in the game. I'm going to try to make one of those in this series. They don't do anything yet, but that's okay. I can still craft one. And we're punching the trees, and I think I have enough wood to last me this first night. So, let's begin building our shelter. I think I'm going to make a shelter that is has a, a dock in it so that I can 
escape it, you know, whenever I want to, and go forth into the water to find stuff. So, let's do some Minecrafting. Get some wood here. I'll leave the rest of this planks for now. We gotta get some sticks. Oh, and we're gonna have to go coal mining real quick. So, first thing, workbench. Four planks. And I'm bringing this with me. I gotta find some coals. And it's probably just as, as... Oh, there's mountains over there. Nice. I'll just pick the sides of the, the slopes clean. Well, would you look at that. Ow. <laughs> I'm kinda used to playing uh, multiplayer where right now you can't take any damage at all. And I just got done saying I want to see how long it is until I kill myself, so... Not a good idea for me to be jumping from high places as I could hurt myself. So we gotta make a pick. It's gonna have to be wood right now so I can come up here and get this coal. I just need a couple more torches. Uh, there we are. There's a nice little platform waiting for me. Come to me, my precious coal bits. I think it's funny how these blocks are, are one cubic meter, yet when they break they turn into a little lump. Like, where did the rest of them go? The particles just disappear. Alright, so there's six coal there. That's okay. That'll get me... That'll get me 24 torches, which is a good set of light. But I want to see if I can get a little more. I also got to dig up some stones. So that I can make a furnace and stone tools. That's that's important to me that I have those things so that when night falls and it's another five minutes away or so, I will be ready for the danger that lurks in the darkness. Not seeing any surface cold around here, so I'll just pick a random spot, and dig it out. I want to grab, i probably just break this pick on the stone so that it doesn't, uh, I, I don't have it sitting in my inventory. You know, you, you, you get a, a wood pick and you break three blocks and you get a stone pick and then you have this wood pick that you're never going to use again. So I figured, well, you know what, it only gives me, I think, uh, 25, no. I don't know how many it gives me. We'll have to see here. I, I dug out six coal and I broke three pieces of dirt. Uh, it looks like 32 is the limit on these. And 25 plus 6 plus 3 is 34. Well, maybe it was two dirt. I don't know. But at any rate, now I've got enough stone to make some and a weapon, oh boy, can't do that, because I'm, I'm probably going to need a weapon. It's also possible that I'm going to go mining when night hits and deal with the danger down there. You know what, there's... You're spared for now, cows. I need your hides for armor, but right now I'm going to build my very first shelter in Season 5. It's so amazing. Okay, I'm done. I wonder if you, uh, if you like the music, check out the website too, because I'm setting up a music. Oh, play! I'm setting up a music deal on there where you can come and download my music, and it's gonna be a forum spot, so you can tell me what you think about that. It's gonna be fun. All right, nice clay deposit. Oh, here's more over here. Sweet. So I can build brick structures. Now you're probably wondering what, what it matters. Um, the brick is so important. As it turns out, brick, when it comes into contact with something that explodes, such as a creeper, it only destroys one layer. And that's important because everything else gets completely destroyed, whereas brick gets kind of destroyed. What's up, chicken? Yes! Feather! Okay. So, 
I've got five minutes and night is approaching so let's hurry up and build this shelter I'm gonna build it out of wood for the time being because it just makes sense to me right now at this point and I'm gonna just put this here put this here Oops. This is not a very impressive building. I built much more interesting things than this. What I'm building right now is a, is a uh, temporary uh, protective area because those mobs are a coming, and it's going to get really interesting in the next episode. But right now, I have to think of my safety. So we got one, two, three. I might as well do the rest of this since I have it. Because I have enough sticks to light up the area. Which is important also. Because I'm in a position where I've got mobs coming from two directions. And that makes it uh, makes it cool. Alright, so. Let's close off the roof. We'll stylize it a little here. Just a simple 5x5 five five structure. Get rid of my step. Okay. Now I'll make my way in. Good. And close it off. Now, the reason I left that one side uh, different from the other is because that's where I'm going to put my workbench and stuff. Make my furnace. There we go. <coughs> Whoops. Good. And while we're at it, make a chest for items that I'm not going to use right away, but I really do need. Feathers go in there, the saplings. Cool stays with me. And the wood. There's dirt to go. Sand I'll use for glass. So, excellent. And that reminds me, let's make some torches. Save some torches for smelting. And let there be light. There was. Alright, so here I am holed up in my little shack here. Uh, night is upon us, as I, you can see by my hole here. And what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, is knock out this hole here. This is going to be my mob hole. Mobs just appear right there, and I can smoke them. Um, I don't think spiders will be able to get in, but just in case, I'll throw down a sand so that they can't get in, because, yeah, teabagging, I didn't say that. Okay, so it's nighttime, and we are about to see danger, so for that, I need to be able to see the FPS. Where is it? Uh, did Notch take it away? He might have. Well, what was the FPS button? F9? No. F10? No. What is it? Oh, F10 freezes the mouse. Unfreezes the mouse. How about F8? F7? F6? No, F6 shows that. And F5 is uh, third person. Well, I don't know. It's a little all. Maybe he took it off completely. That kind of stinks. Because I cannot see where the mobs are. If there's any in, in a certain direction. Ugh. That's a little disappointing, but... This episode is finished, and we're off to a good start. We're in our little safety shack, our little hidey hole, and uh, next episode I'm just going to pick up right where I left off, and it's going to be awesome. So I'll catch you guys then. Thanks for watching.